Welcome, my friends. I have another classic for you from Boston Market, the meatloaf with some potatoes. Excellent source of protein. Usually these things sit there and brag about the, the, the meat and, you know, ooh, you know, prime rim and stuff. No, they're just like, ooh, protein, you get protein. Because I think everybody knows what meatloaf is, right? It's just a, just a big old hunk of meat. Well, this time I've gone too far. No, no one will fall for it. <laughs> Cheap meat! Ooh, this one's open. So meatloaf, signature homestyle mashed potatoes and gravy. I think this is going to be like, it's basically the ultimate comfort food. The nutrient information, not a whole lot of vitamins, ooh, a lot of fat. 50% of my saturated fat, and ooh, 70% of my sodium. All right, so I can, I can eat this and then nothing else for the rest of the day. I can't even, you know, look at my wife and, and with my normal, you know, winking tongue in cheek say that I ate healthy. Interestingly enough, it doesn't say anything about the potatoes. Uh, so actually, I, I take it back. It flat out states right there. Do not stir potatoes. Usually I say give the potatoes a good stir. This one says don't stir them at all. All right, it is out of the microwave. <clears throat> I did not stir the potatoes. All I did was flip this patty over like it told me to. Though to be fair, I also put some gravy on top of it. Now it said not to stir the potatoes, at least during the first round. And, and so you can see the potatoes here. I'm curious if they are cold here in the middle. Shocker. The potatoes are cold in the center. Yeah, a little runny actually. At the bottom there. I'm gonna. Woo! Little peep from the edge there burned me. So the, the potatoes on the edge were burnt. So I'm gonna stir that now. And actually, while I have some potatoes on my spoon, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, these are decent potatoes. Again, they're they're TV dinner potatoes. But that direction that says don't stir them, I would ignore that. All right, now I'm gonna try this gravy first. Not seeing any onions or anything, like I've seen in a few other dinners. It looks like it's just a simple brown gravy. All right, for a brown gravy, that's that's really good. See, it seems like I think Boston Market knows gravy. And now I'm going to try, since they didn't have me move the bottom one, I'm first gonna try a piece of meat off this top one. Here we go, it's a decent piece. well as one of these from the bottom. All right, that meatloaf is decent as far as it goes. And the gravy is where a lot of the spices are coming from. Uh, flavors the meat very nicely. This meat itself, um, it's fine. Not exactly, I can't say a lot of, I, I, I enjoyed it, okay? As you can tell, I'm a little tongue-tied here. I, I don't hate it, I don't love it, I, I'm not sure how to describe it, but I'm curious. Where the instructions told me not to do anything to this bottom patty, I am curious if it is cooked in the middle here. So again, it freaks you out when I put my finger in the food. Look away. That is cold. Now I have to get my napkin right and clean it up. So I don't know. I think those directions were wrong. What I would have done is stir the potatoes and then rotate the patties, put the bottom one on the top and, and move it around and stuff like that. Because even letting it sit for a few minutes, the middle still, I mean, it got really hot around the edges here, around these edges. My food was hot. In fact, it burned me a little bit when I was turning the potatoes earlier. But here in the middle, yeah, it, 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 it's still, kind of, it's lukewarm. I might have to pop this in the microwave for another minute or so. The taste is great. The direction are atrocious. Shame on you, Boston Market. Shame. So, this gets, for the directions, gets a big old double thumbs down. But the taste, and would I buy this again? Yes, I would. I paid $3.49 for this, so I would make the changes that I talked about. But I'm going to give this a thumbs up for the taste. All right, if you like my reviews, please hit like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I've got a couple of videos and playlists here on either side that I think you'll enjoy. Till next time, bye!